In chapter 11 of Candide, the old woman tells the story of her life, explaining that she is the daughter of Pope Urban X and a princess. As a young woman, she was beautiful, or so the local poets told her, and she was betrothed to an Italian prince. But he was murdered just before their wedding, and she and her mother set sail to their country home to escape their sorrow. However, their ship is attacked by pirates. The young princess's virginity is claimed by the pirate captain as they head to Morocco, where the women are to be sold as slaves. But in Morocco, a fight over the princess's mother turns into a bloodbath battle royal among pirates, soldiers, and the captain. And the young princess is the only survivor. She stumbles to a stream and collapses. When she comes to, a white man is lying on top of her, moaning in Italian, oh, what a misfortune to be without balls. The old woman's story is another example of how women were viewed in 18th century Europe. The young princess, her mother, and their servants are valued only for their monetary and sexual values. Readers today will be horrified by such thoughts, but the old woman doesn't seem to think anything of them, saying she and her mother must have been made of stern stuff to endure what we endured before arriving in Morocco. Voltaire touches on race in this chapter. The people who torment the young princess all have dark skin. The pirate captain is described as an abominable Negro, and the warring Moroccans are black, brown, and mulatto, a dated, offensive term for mixed race. 